Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Encrypto. In this video, we're going to explain what is a DAO. But before I get into it, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe the channel. In DeFi, almost every project has a DAO or decentralized autonomous organization is one of the most popular crypto systems and represents one of the most innovative developments in decentralized finance. Decentralized organizations are structures less complicated than it might seem. Consider them as a replacement for traditional organizations where actions are automatized. Rules are preset and must be respected. People have participation and voting rights according to the number of tokens they own, and this makes it possible to participate anonymously. Throughout this, we'll review all aspects of DAO, from what it is to the pros and cons. What are Decentralized Autonomous Organizations? DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. The name stays at all. The meaning of DAO can be found in all those groups of people coming together to accomplish a common goal. These, in very simple terms, are DAOs. These organizations are internet-based and people who participate don't necessarily need to know each other, in line with one of the main principles of DeFi privacy. The focus is on decentralized Decentralization. Cryptocurrencies are by nature decentralized assets. And a group of people inspired by this kind of distribution came up with the idea to use decentralization not only for financial assets but also to replace traditional organizations. But we will talk about this group of people later. However, also some CEX are developing their own DAOs. So this kind of organization might not be limited to DeFi in the future. Everyone who joins a DAO has has a common purpose and may not necessarily have anything to do with financial institutions. There are countless DAOs that do anything from collect NFTs to manage charities. The most significant feature of these organizations is that there are no leaders. Every participant can vote on proposals and decide on the future of the organization. As part of DeFi space, the backbone of these organizations is represented by smart contracts. A DAO is curated from a smart contract contract that not only sets rules but also collects fans to reach a common goal. For more information on smart contracts, please go to my channel and find the video with what is a smart contract title. A DAO is actually self-handed in the sense that each participant contributes to the treasury of the organization. But there are different kinds of self-financing. DAOs can be token-based. Anyone can buy the crypto that foils the organization and become a member. And will have voting rights according to the amount of tokens they own. These DAOs are usually fully permissionless. You can also join a share-based DAO by submitting an application. If the application is accepted by the community, you'll be asked to purchase a minimum amount of tokens. And you'll have voting rights according to the number of tokens you have. A very popular DAO, friends with benefits, is an example of a share-based DAO. But to better understand how it's possible to manage an organization without any central authority, let's have a look at the elements that make up a DAO and how it works. How do DAOs work? First, let's see how a DAO is made. These are the elements common to any DAO. A structure to reach the common goal. This first step is, of course, dependent on someone having an idea. So there is always a team or an individual behind the project. The organization needs to set a goal. Think about the rules that will govern the organization. The budget that may be required. How to reward participants. What should be the characteristics of the token used. And how how to pass proposals. Smart contracts. As we said, they are the backbone of the whole DeFi space. These pieces of code allow developers to set rules that, if not met, would prevent any blockchain-based operation from the being executed and finalized. Smart contracts not only contain the rules that will manage the organization, but also allow for the creation of the token that will be used by the DAO. Treasury. Any project requires fans. DAOs issue 
crypto tokens that will be used to attract investors. They will represent the part of the treasury owned by each participant, as well as the allocation of voting rights. Community People can participate in DAOs according to the structure of the organization. As we mentioned, DAOs can be either permissionless or ask for the applications that need the approval of the other participants. Participants will be able to make decisions concerning the DAO, to approve proposals or new participants, or decisions on how to spend the fans of the organization. So this was a quick overview of DAO. If you liked this video, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon, and liking this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next Sample Explained video.